हेलो एवरी वन आई एम स्वाति टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ के इफ द सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन हैव नो सोल्यूशन और यूनिक सोल्यूशन और इनफाइनाइटली मैनी सोल्यूशन वी हैव थ्री कंडीशन इधर द सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन विल हैव नो सोल्यूशन or infinitely many solutions or unique solutions so one by one we are going to discuss how to find the value of k so first we will take finding the value of k if the system of equations have unique solution so first of all you must know when the system of equations have unique solution so the condition is a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 so let us have this two equations two uh, linear equations in two variables are given to you and you need to find out the value of k so the condition is a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 so here if i'll compare we have a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 if i'll compare we have a1 as 4 a2 as 2 Similarly, b1 as k and b2 as 2. We need four, these four values. So let us substitute. 4 by 2 is not equal to k by 2. Now we'll cross multiply. What we will get? 2k is equal is not equal to 8. That means k is not equal to 8 by 2. That means 4. So k is not equal to 4. We have got the value as what? K, which is not equal to 4. So we need to find the value of k. So except k is equal to 4 we can have any value of k if the system of equations have unique solution that means k ki kuch bhi value ho sakti hai sirf value 4 nahi hogi because we are getting k is not equal to 4 that means k ki value 4 nahi ho sakti iske alawa k ki kuch bhi value ho sakti hai in these two linear equations in two variables we are given a pair of linear equations in two variables so If the system of equations have unique solution, we have this condition only. So we'll substitute the values. What we are getting? K is not equal to four. That means if k is equal to four, then we will have any value of k if k is equal to. We can have any value if k is not equal to four. Let us take one more example for it. Let's take kx minus y is equal to two, and six x minus two y is equal to three. So first of all, we'll convert these two equations in the standard form. So it will become kx minus y minus two is equal to zero, and six x minus two y minus three is equal to zero. So here, if I'll compare with the standard form a1 will be k a2 will be 6 b1 is equal to minus 1 and b2 is equal to minus 2 now we'll have this condition as a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 so k by 6 is not equal to minus 1 by minus 2 so minus and minus will be cancelled out so what you will get 2k is not equal to 6 that means k is not equal to 6 by 2 that is 3 so k is not equal to 3 that means 
एक्सेप्ट के इज इक्वल टू थ्री के कैन हैव एनी वैल्यू सो दैट मीन्स के कैन हैव एनी वैल्यू एक्सेप्ट k इज इक्वल टू थ्री दैट मीन्स k की कोई भी वैल्यू हो सकती है एक्सेप्ट k इज इक्वल टू थ्री सो दिस इज द कंडीशन फॉर यूनिक सोल्यूशन यू कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ k. नाउ द सेकेंड इज टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ k इफ द सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेश हैव नो सोल्यूशन Now let's take an example. Three x plus y is equal to one. Two k minus one into x plus k minus one into y is equal to two k plus one. Now the system of equations have no solution. So the condition for no solution is a one by a two. is equal to b1 by b2 but is not equal to c1 by c2 if i'll compare a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 so we need all these six parameters so if i'll compare a1 is 3 a2 is 2k minus 1 b1 is 1 b2 is k minus 1 c1 is minus 1 and c2 is minus of 2k plus 1 because if i'll transpose 1 to this side then only it will become the standard form of linear equations in two variables now if i'll compare 3 by 2k minus 1 is equal to 1 upon k minus 1 is not equal to minus 1 upon minus 2k plus 1 so minus and minus will be cancelled out now first you will compare this and this terms so you will get some value of k let's compare we will cross multiply so 3 k minus 3 is equal to 2k minus 1 that means 3k minus 2k is equal to minus 1 plus 3 so k is equal to 2 now if i compare these two what will i get 1 upon k minus 1 is not equal to 1 upon 2k plus 1 One. Now it is clear. If I'll put k as two here, they both will be not equal to each other. So one upon, if I'll find two minus one, is not equal to one upon two into two plus one. So one upon one is not equal to one upon two into two is four plus one five. So they both are. not equal to each other that means this two equations have no solution if k is equal to 2 so you can write the given system of equations have no solution when k is equal to 2 let's take one more example for it kx minus y is equal to 2 and 6x minus 2y is equal to 3. Now for no solution, we have a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2. Now we will substitute the values of a1, a2, b1, b2, and c1, c2, and we know that the standard form of linear equations is a1x plus b1 by Plus c1 is equal to zero. So when I will transpose it, it will become minus two. So k upon six is equal to minus one 
अपॉन माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू अपॉन माइनस थ्री इज नॉट इक्वल टू माइनस एंड माइनस विल बी कैंसल नाउ वी विल कंपेयर फर्स्ट दीज टू टर्म्स के बाय सिक्स इक्वल टू माइनस एंड माइनस विल बी कैंसल सो वन बाय टू सो टू के इज इक्वल टू सिक्स सो के इज इक्वल टू सिक्स बाय टू दैट मीन्स थ्री सो के इज इक्वल टू थ्री नाउ सी दिस टू टर्म्स वन बाय टू is not equal to 2 by 3 it is already clear that 1 by 2 can never be equal to 2 by 3 so that means the given system of equations the given system of equations have no solution when k is equal to 3 this is how we can find out the value of k so first of all you must know the condition for no solution unique solution and infinitely many solution now let's proceed to the third condition that is when the system of equations have infinitely many solutions now let us take an example kx plus 3y minus k minus 3 is equal to 0 and 12x plus ky minus k is equal to 0 now we are given the pair of linear equations in two variables so first of all we must know what is the condition for infinitely many solution that is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 now we will find out the parameters first a1 is k a2 is 12 b1 is 3 b2 is k c1 is minus of k minus 3 and c2 is minus k now we have this condition a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 so we will substitute the values k by 12 is equal to 3 by k is equal to minus of k minus 3 upon minus k minus and minus will be cancel out so first of all we will compare first and second term and then we will compare second and third term now we will compare it k by 12 is equal to 3 by k so you will get k square is equal to 36 12 into 3 is 36 so now k square that means k will have two values so k is equal to plus minus 6 when we will compare first and second term we have got k as plus minus 6 now what we will do is we will compare these two terms so when we'll compare 3 by k is equal to k minus 3 upon k so this will become 3k when we will cross multiply it will become k square minus 3k so k square is equal to 3k when it will come here it will become 6k so that means k square minus 6k is equal to 0 so when we'll take k common k minus 6 equal to 0 so k is equal to 0 and 6 because here it is becoming a quadratic equation so k will have two values now see in first case i'm getting k is equal to plus minus 6 so two values that is plus 6 and minus 6 here i'm getting k is equal to 0 and 6 so it will have a positive sign with it so plus 6 now see which value is common between this k and this k 0 will not be common plus 6 and plus 6 so from both the cases i'm getting 6 as common plus 6 as common so that means this these two equations 
will have infinitely many solutions when k is equal to 6 because when you will compare you will have to see which is the common value so the system of equation the system of equations have infinitely many solutions when k is equal to 6. Now let's take one more example for it. Let's take 2k, 2x plus 3y is equal to 7 and k minus 1 into x plus k plus 2 into y is equal to 3k. So for infinitely many solutions we have a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. Now we'll substitute. 2 upon k minus 1 is equal to 3 upon k plus 2 is equal to minus 7 upon minus 3k. Because it will come here, it will become a standard form. So now first compare these two equations. So 2 upon k minus 1 is equal to 3 upon k plus 2. Now if I cross multiply, what will I get as 4k, sorry 2k plus 4 is equal to 3k minus 3. Now I will transpose 2k minus 3k is equal to minus 3 minus 4. So minus k is equal to minus 7. So k is equal to 7. Here I have got the value of k as 7. Now I will compare these two. So what will I get? 3 upon k plus 2 is equal to minus 7 upon minus 3k k and k will be cancelled out cross multiply 9k is equal to 7k plus 14 so it will become 9k minus 7k is equal to 14 so 2k is equal to 14 so k is equal to 7 so when i have compared first and second term second and third term i am getting k as 7 in both the cases so the system of equations have infinitely many solutions when k is equal to 7. So this is how we can find out the value of K. So you must know when you are uh, asked to find out the value of K. So you must know all the three conditions that is for unique solution you have A1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by B2. For no solution we have A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 but is not equal to C1 by C2. And when you have infinitely many solutions that means a1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 is equal to C1 by C2. So you have to remember these three conditions then only you can find out the value of K. Thank you.